Terry Wallace, well, it's Thursday. You know what that means? Time for another pick, pick of the week. week. Well, it's a free comic book day miracle. <laughs> we actually got our books. Uh, they they are here. Right? <laughs> We're overwhelmed with comics right now. <laughs> comics from Tuesday, comics from today. Other well, well, we got comics. Shelves are groaning with comics here, right? And we got what, a thousand comics in the back room to stick out for Saturday. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we got comics. <laughs> Anyways, moving along to comics, as we said. <laughs> For pick of the week, I'm going with the reasonably priced 25 cent Year to Villain. Oh, come on. It's a jump on point. Some tells me that should have been a free comic book day comic. But right, they're, yeah. They're going to make you pay a quarter for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they'll, they'll squeeze every yeah. cent, right? And I think kind of a strange lineup with the Savage Avengers. Now that Conan is part of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> uh, this yeah, I, can see, I guess the boys would be pretty savage in there. Well, it is a pretty savage lineup there yeah, when you look at it. It's just like, oh yeah, all these are very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. None of them people I would like to meet in a dark alleyway. Right? You know, they're all more murderers. <laughs> <laughs> <You> know, heroes. <laughs> For cover of the week, I'm going to go with DC Deceased. Oh yeah. We've got that cool hit cover thing going on. Looks kind of neat. Yeah. Hopefully the series is good. Yeah, this is supposed to be uh, quite interesting of, yeah. of the rumor is, right? And uh, for uh, figure of the week. Uh, <coughs> oh! Uh, <coughs> that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, we, oh, nobody's in control, number one. Ding, 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 ding. Months of delays. <laughs> yeah. We they finally got it. They switched new printers, but it looks pretty good, though, too. And I actually read it the other night, yeah. uh, my complimentary copy. And I, I, I was like, geez, this actually is, is, it's an interesting comic. It's, and it's kind of great to work on a project that, uh, you know, wasn't something that you I can't believe it like. actually showed up, so we'll have it for the signing that we've got scheduled for tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes, drop by for the, from 5 to 7. Instead of Monday or something stupid. Like Ex exactly, just, and just in time for free comic book day. Yeah, brutal winter. I tell you, well, yes. Delays, 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 jeez, <laughs> kill <me>. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Uh -huh. How about the Borg? From oh, Star Trek yes. is the figure of the week. Now, this is a nice one. Don Select there. You will be assimilated, right? I always liked the Borg. They were always kind of cool, right? Oh, yeah, look at you. <laughs> yeah, Borg game. Here we go with this monster. Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. 80 <laughs> miniatures, 32 <laughs> constructs. A whole lot going on in the back of that box. <laughs> Have a look at this, folks. <laughs> Come on. You got an 8 out of 10 on BoardGameGeek.com. Oh, okay. That's not a bad rating. Jeez, yes. Well, it's, uh, so check it out, folks. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, we got a couple of bucks with those spending there. Yeah. You got some books there, Wallace? <laughs> oh, yes. Books are plenty this week. One here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, first of all, the uh, this is DC's uh, uh, new imprint, DC Inc. Me and Jason were talking about this just before we started filming here. Yeah. And this one is what is it? Under the Moon, a Catwoman tale, and that's Mira. Mira Todd Breger. If you like little graphic novels about the per perfect young. Yeah, Daniel Page. He's yeah. a. New York Times bestseller. Yeah, young, young adult, you know, young teen readers can, can get into the... And this one here right? is, uh, well, I guess part of it yeah. is the uh, one of the free comic book day comics, so you can get a taste of it to see if you like want to buy the whole thing. Yeah, and these are two, uh, I guess, re, uh, reorders here, and uh, we get a lot of uh, people asking for this, actually, I believe. Finally got them back in stock. Waiting forever for these, and loads of people looking for them because the Netflix show was so good. Yeah. So, well, we finally got them back. Yeah, I'm curious to, to see there. Right? Same with the uh, Deadly Class. That that isn't bad either. I, I yeah. recommend people check out not only the comic but the TV show is bad. And this one the, now this is a reorder too, but this is a great book apparently for young people. That's very go mad apparently. Mr. Wolf's Class. Yeah. Supposed to be pretty good. It's right? fun, yeah. Yeah, one of our regulars, he uh, bought the first one, his daughter loved it. So he bought the second one. <laughs> and 
And last, of course, is nobody is in control. <laughs> I'll never be tired of you saying that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, drop by and uh, I mean, I'll even sign it for you, even if uh, if it's even or I signed one just a few minutes ago, even if it's before the signing. You did. Yeah, and uh, but drop down for the signing because it'll be a bit of fun. And five to seven, and then yeah. from seven to nine is the comic book jam at the Anna Templin. So. Uh, if you got a kid who likes to draw, bring him down there. And then Saturday's free comic book day. I tell you, it's it's comics all around. And oh yeah, Mike Fee and, uh, nominated for an uh, Eisner Award. Yeah, all right. Local Newfoundlander. I mean, this is a uh, this is Newfoundland's uh, day, right? Yeah. <laughs> May is starting off better than April is. Exactly. <laughs> right, well, keep reading comics. And see you at the comic book shop. All right. All right. See you.